What's up, YouTube? I'm just going to make a quick barber station update, so um, let's get started. Right here, I have a plastic jar that I got at 99 cent store with Barberside. I have this right now because um, I don't want to buy a real jar because I got little brother, well, little siblings. And um, they've dropped this jar like a couple times already, but it hasn't broken because it's plastic. So um, it gets the job done. We got Andy's Cool Care, which I use for um, when your clippers heat up, spray it down. And before and that, before a haircut, you spray it down too, just to keep it disinfected and nice. Keep it clean, sanitized. I got <clears throat> Clipper Side, which is basically the same thing as Cool Care, but um, I don't use it for like spraying down when it gets hot. I usually just use that for um, disinfecting my clippers. And right here I have blade wash to clean my clippers out. The reason I use this, I use the clipper side to disinfect my clippers is because um, I'll blade wash my clippers and I'll open them up and spray all the hairs out. And when I blade wash them, it doesn't disinfect, it just cleans the hairs out. So I'll usually just spray it down with this right after to disinfect it and then I'll oil them just to keep them clean. Right here I have um, Germex which you always need bump stopper I use that one um I got some of my boys that I razor them and like their skin gets irritated from the razor cause they're not used to getting razored but they usually tell me to razor them just that they got like sensitive skin so people with sensitive skin I usually just put a bump stopper and it takes that it takes the irritation off and I got shave secret which I don't really use but it works good it glides the, ba the blade better I got Johnny B gel my Andy's clipper oil. You have to keep your clippers oiled, otherwise the blade won't move. You'll be pulling hair. So if that's been happening. You'll need some. You probably need some clip, some clipper oil on them. My neck duster, small little neck duster that I got off of Amazon for three bucks, which I use for after cuts, like right after the haircut. I got my Derby pack razors. After shaving a bottle, which I got for like a dollar fifty at Sally's, my Clubman talk, my Clubman aftershave, and um, this is just a it's just clear gel. I used to have a bump off; those were they were good, and um, I went to a Dollar Tree and I bought a cheap little ninety nine cent um shaving gel, but I noticed that it was too sticky compared to bump off. Is bump off, it keeps moisturized. Like the skin, when you put it on, it keeps it like moisturized. But um, once you rub it off, it comes off like if it was water, no stickiness or nothing. And the Dollar Tree brand kept on doing that, so um, I mixed it with water in here, and now it works. It works exactly like Bump Off, and way cheaper too. And then I got uh, my water bottle, my neck duster, which I use like during haircuts. And then I just got a container where I put my old razors in. <laughs> Right here, I got my wall five star shaver shaper. It skins skin super close and fast. That's a good electric shaver right there. I got a blow dryer, not the best one, but it gets the job done, you know. Old old blow dryer. I got two pairs of Andy's masters. Both of them, I got them zero gap. My wall five star balding clipper and um, two black Andy's T R liners. As you can see, I keep the gar I keep the little um, clipper. Um, what did they called? The little protectors it comes with. I keep it on there just so the blade doesn't rust. Cause sometimes if you leave it exposed, the blades do start rusting. Like you start seeing yellow right here. So I just keep this on them. These ones don't come with them. So um, I just had these guards and I just put that on just so it could protect it. Right here I have my big mirror. I got it at Sadie's on sale for like seven bucks or eight. I got my cape, barber cape right here. Then I got my barber jacket right in the back. Barber jacket, a shampoo cape that my mom uses because she cuts hair, girl hair too. 
Well, she could, yeah, she does the girl haircuts and stuff like that. She's licensed and all that. Then this is for the little kids. Then um, up here, I got my Andy's magnetic guards from the zero all the way to the number eight. Up here, I just have my clipper boxes and just just like clipper boxes and the trimmer blades and stuff. You guys can check that out. The fast feeds which I had, which I sold already. Style liners. The reason I sold them was because um, I started working at a shop and I found myself using these masters. And um, the black tea outliner is more than the fast feeds and the style liners. And everyone knows that these masters heat up. So um, I just ended up selling the fast feeds and just bought a, the fast feeds and the style liners and just bought a, another pair of masters and another pair of black tea outliners. Which, right now in the clipper game, from the clippers that I use, from the fast feeds, to the cool vibes, to these ones right here, to all the clippers that I've used, I would say that the, the masters are the best. It's just my opinion, you know? It just has what, like the fast feeds give nice tapers and stuff, but um, I just feel that it's easier to blend with the Andy's Masters and it gives you a smoother blend too, so I ended up getting just this was my combination of clippers, you know, just some Andy's Masters and um the trimmers that I used, I had some wall detailers, some wall heroes and the style liners, which I sold all of them. And um I just f found myself using these right here. The black ones more. I just I don't know. I just like those black ones better. So um, I'll usually be cutting hair. I'll use these and probably one of these. And once these heat up, I'll switch them off and just switch to these masters and the other ones. So um, those are my clippers right there. Now right here, my mom has her shears right there. And I just got like extra guards in this one, you know. Extra guards for my 76ers, which I sold to. Down here, I have combs, brushes, clipper over combs. For all you people that are having trouble clipper over combing, I would recommend you get one of these right here. These combs, they work way better than these right here. I'm just saying, you know. Baby brush that I use during a haircut. These br these um brushes that I use for like cleaning my clippers off. These are my thinning shears. My um straight edge razor. And then these are my shears right here for cutting hair for very sharp. And down here, I just have screwdrivers. Just throw my money there, like little tips I get. My neck dust, neck strips. In this case, ribs, so I just have them right there, like that. But my neck strips. I got my neck dust, my um, neck strip dispenser. Just these other clippers, which my, my boy left. They're his. Just um, well, this Andy's cool cut already finished, but when I'm in the haircut, I don't really like going back and forth, like snapping these guards off. So I'll just grab the guards that I need and I'll just snap on them, like just clip them on right there. So when I'm cutting hair, I could just switch over here and just put them off from right here instead of going back over here. Instead of making like mixing the numbers up all over, I just throw them right here. Just have that there for that reason, you know. 